potions. They are all over the world and are used every day. So why do we disrespect them? Instead of sitting around searching for an answer, we need to act now and solve the problem. If we do not act immediately, our problem will get worse and soon become irreversible. Our pollution is causing both our animals and oceans to die, and we need to put an end to plastic pollution. Pollution has become a big part of everyday life for people all over the world. So what is polluting our oceans? Today, our oceans are being polluted mostly by plastics. Plastics are used every day by people all over the world. Plastics are used to make water bottles, bags, and other consumer products. About 100 billion plastic bags are used by Americans each and every year, and about 500 billion to 1 trillion plastic bags are used around the world each year. Plastic bottles that are used to hold liquids are also widely used and unfortunately not recycled properly and are later thrown into our oceans, leaving them to become polluted. In 2010, 21% of clear plastic bottles were recycled, but unfortunately those numbers will get worse if we do not stop plastic pollution from occurring. When our plastic bags enter the ocean, they split up into smaller pieces from the ocean waves and the sun. However, even though these plastics may break up, they still do not disappear. This is because the plastic is made out of clear pellets called resin that do not dissolve in water. So instead, animals eat these smaller pieces and are then affected by it. Once the animals eat the plastic, they can become ill and die. Animals can get tangled up in the trash and will die later on from being strangled. Animals also eat the trash, which is thrown into the ocean by humans. They eat the trash, mistaking it for food, and then it gets into their bodies and punctures their organs. The chemicals that are in the plastic are poisonous and are then absorbed into the animal's body, causing them to die. Seabirds are also greatly affected by our plastic. About 1 million seabirds die each year from plastic pollution in the water in which they live. Unfortunately, that is not all. 100,000 marine mammals also die each year from the pollution. Sea turtles often eat plastic bags, mistaking them for jellyfish, and will die later on from either being tangled in the bag or ingesting it. This plastic trash also threatens humans because the plastic that is eaten by animals such as fish will later be used as seafood for humans. People will then eat the fish with the plastic chemicals inside of it. This pollution also harms people when they swim in highly contaminated water. How does this trash get into our waters? About 80% of all the trash in the ocean comes from land and is put there by humans. The other 20% of the trash has fallen off of ships. After the plastic gets into our oceans, it is collected into a swarm of currents, which is known as a gyre. There are five major gyres in the world. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or North Pacific Gyre, the North Atlantic Gyre, the Indian Ocean Gyre, the South Pacific Gyre, and the South Atlantic Gyre. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest gyre. It consists of two piles of garbage floating in the ocean. One garbage patch is located near the coast of California and is twice the size of Texas. The other is located off the coast of Japan and is just as big. Sadly, 100 million tons of plastic are floating around in these patches. Once our plastic trash gets into the ocean gyres, they stay there for a while and they never disappear because plastic is biodegradable and stays in the water for decades. The amount of pollution in our waters will just grow and get worse. According to the ocean cleanup, plastic pollution causes at least 13 billion US dollars in damage every year to industries that include fishing, shipping, and tourism. And the cost of removing debris from beaches averages $1,500 per ton and can reach up to $25,000 per ton. In the United States, California spends about $500 million each year to clean up their beaches which are widely polluted. Our oceans are very important to us and our wildlife. We need to stop throwing our plastics away and start recycling them. Recycling them will help our world save money because we will not have to pay for a cleanup. To stop our pollution problem, be more cautious about where your plastics go when you recycle them. Carry around reusable water bottles instead of the single-use plastic water bottles and carry around reusable tote bags instead of using a plastic bag once and throwing it away. Please. Help save our oceans from our plastics and turn our oceans from this into this. Let's put an end to this pollution.